Medical Streamlines for Australia's Temporary Visa Applicants. Today, in this video we will share with you the latest updates about medical requirements streamlined by the Department of Home Affairs. The Government of Australia is streamlining the necessities for temporary visa applicants. Medical examinations and chest x-rays are not required based on their nationality, earlier residence, or intended duration of their stay to meet the health requirements. However, temporary visa applicants would still be required to conduct related medical examinations or chest x-rays based on the following conditions. If the applicant has applied for any sort of medical treatment, provisional visa, or temporary protection, awaiting to sustain medical costs or required medical treatments, planning to work as or pursue the degree of doctor, dentist, paramedic, or nurse, will be admitted to a hospital, aged or disability care facility center, if they are having a high risk of tuberculosis. If the applicant is pregnant and planning to have the baby in Australia, are over 75 years of age and applying for a visitor visa, have a past history of household contact with tuberculosis, or have been asked by the department to do so, it is required for the applicant to fill out all the questions in their form honestly. In case of false declarations, the Department of Home Affairs will have full rights to cancel the applicant's visa. These are the temporary terms and conditions applied currently to all newly made applications and eligible temporary visa applications with the Department of Home Affairs in Australia. However, they will be examined by the Government of Australia in early 2023. In which visa subclasses will the arrangements be applied? These arrangements are applied to the following visa subclasses. Subclass 401 Temporary Work, Long Stay Activity Temporary Work, Subclass 403 Investor Retirement, Subclass 405 Training, Subclass 407 Temporary Activity Subclass 408 Retirement Subclass 410 Working Holiday Subclass 417 and 462 Subclass 461 New Zealand Citizen Family Relationship Subclass 476 Skilled Recognized Graduate Temporary Skill Shortage Subclass 482 Temporary Graduate Subclass 485 Students Subclass 500 Student Guardian Subclass 590 Visitor Subclass 600 Sponsored Parent Temporary Subclass 870 Diplomatic Subclass 995 What does this imply to current medical appointments? You will be contacted soon by the department's contracted service provider to cancel appointments where they will no longer be needed and will provide funds. Are any refunds available for recently completed medical examinations? Right now, no refunds are available. However, medicals already completed will be reviewed by the department in the normal way. Our video update for today ends here. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.